I'm really scared I'm having a nip slip. It was like my eyeball. Alicia's feeling things. I'm warm and fuzzy. And then I thought of Lion King, which made me think of the fucking baboon. Let's get to recording. I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about my birthday. Mm -hmm. And And she's gonna apologize to me. Ah! Ramble. Thank you to DoorDash and Macy's for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I am Remy. I'm Alicia. (laughs) Someone genuinely right now thought they were playing it in like two times speed. (gasps) Sometimes I do ever do that like on accident. Like I'll be like, you know, wiping on the toilet or something and I accidentally like put my phone down and then I'm like, it was like talk. They were like, and then I like get up and it's like, and I realized I accidentally hit it. Oh, see, I've never done that. That's a little too much TMI. Sorry. (laughs) But... I'll purposely sometimes like if someone I feel like there was an era on YouTube where there were like apology videos a lot or like tea drama type things that were an hour long. I'm like, I don't got the time to watch this. Oh, yeah. If you listen in two times speed, you know, that's a 30 minute video. You know, maybe while I'm doing my makeup. Perfect. Oh, I am in a group with a group chat with Lauren and Ollie. We talk constantly (laughs) all day long, (laughs) all day long. And we call ourselves TikTok hoes because all we do is keep up with TikTok. Well, it originated with just keeping up with all the TikTok drama. Yeah. And there were so many videos out or like explanations as to the drama. Mm-hmm. And Lauren will always be like, or one of them will always just be like, don't worry, I'm gonna watch it in two times speed so I can get the I can get like yes. the tea twice as fast. I personally like can't keep up with it that See, quickly, I, right? I, I can. I didn't realize I was a superpower. I can tell if it's one and one fourth times. Like I feel like I have a very keen sense mm. as to like and then I'm like my brain can't move that quickly. So I'll start over. Hi guys, welcome back to Pretty Basic. <laughs> I'm Remy. And I am Alicia. Thank you. I tried to say that really slow. I am Remy. I am Groot. I am Groot. What I was it? Groot. I saw an article recently I about because Vin Diesel voices him, correct? Yes, I believe so. And it was how much money he got paid to say I am Groot. A like lot a million. Of money. You know what I, mean? I forget. Let me look it up. And you know, Bradley Cooper it, is Rocket too. You know what's funny? I still, even knowing that, when I hear Rocket speak, I do not hear Bradley Cooper. Like, you know, with voice acting, once you hear who voices that character, you can tell who yeah. it is. Yeah. Every time I'll try to focus, anytime I'm watching anything with rocket in it i'm like what i do not hear how this is bradley Cooper. do you think they put like a voice modulator on him a little bit or something I, probably a little bit but i feel like he's just a good actor and he like can just the do voice. that yeah wait guess how much money vin diesel made for playing groot 17 million 54.5 million dollars i am Groot. i, I mean, can do it too i am Groot. he first he first voiced Groot in guardians of the galaxy and obviously moving forward with in games and avengers and stuff holy shit he had the easiest lines to learn that is wild well even like bradley cooper didn't i'm sure they oh got God, paid less than everyone else but they didn't he didn't ever have to go to set he was just the voice and then i believe the person who wore the suit to be rocket i think was related to the director i think that's a fun fact cal told me i think it was his brother can we fact check that because i spew a lot of propaganda on this podcast and i apologize uh you are correct yes it's the director james gunn's brother sean gunn yes so if you look like at the behind the scenes of whether it's Avengers yeah. or um, Guardians of the Galaxy, it's this guy in like a morph suit, essentially, yes. who's just like crouching yes. down. It's the director's brother. So Bradley Cooper literally didn't need to be there. Guess how much money Bradley Cooper made. Keep in mind, this is Avengers Infinity War um, and Endgame. He was like the star. He made a lot. He did a really good job in Infinity War and, and Endgame. The- and Endgame, when everyone, spoiler alert, poof, he was like, what are we going to do? But also, also, that was one of the highest earning movies ever. So that plays a huge role in this too. I'm guessing 54 million. A hundred oh, million. Damn. Or, I mean, he literally did kill it. Like the, that character was such a crucial point. Like not that Groot wasn't because teenage Groot was like- Teenage Groot, so So funny. funny, but baby Groot was my favorite. He's so cute. I will say voice acting is really hard. I have always wanted to do voice acting and I know you have too. I was just going to say, so- um, Obviously, this is a platform. This is a podcast. I'm taking this time. I am a very strong believer in speaking what you want and putting it out into the putting it out into existence. I love the idea of manifestation. I don't know a lot, so if anyone could give me some tips, please comment them down below. In my head, I I um kind of 
think that manifestation is kind of just like being positive and thinking of things that you want and saying them out loud and then maybe they'll happen. Yeah. I, I think that's a very small, small, small part of manifestation. But um, I would like to be a voice actor. This is my audition. Also, I mean, look at you. You have a mic in front of you. You already have the headphones. Thank you. Your voice, the raspy, it's there. Someone told me in a recent vlog, they said that, like a very nice thing about my voice. Wow. And I looked it up and I didn't know that this word even existed. Please hold. Remy's voice is so calming and saccharine. <gasps> Sa saccharine? Did I say that wrong? No. And I looked it up. It's a real word. Oh my God. What does it mean? Saccharine. I, if S A. Oh, wait. Saccharin. Oh, saccharin. saccharin. <laughs> Excessively sweet or sentimental. Saccharin. What I was laughing at, we filmed a TikTok um, last week that went up on my TikTok. Go follow it, Alicia Murray. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was us with the Tito's wall. Yes. And my favorite thing was the voice that you ended up doing matched Don't you your... dare say that. No, it did. Don't you dare say did that. Did you see all the comments? Don't you dare say that. That was Erica Jane. <laughs> ah! Don't you dare say that. <laughs> my boob is actually out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, I'm manifesting. I actually have a funny little anecdote to share oh. along with manifesting. This is so weird. I do think I have a very good intuition. I also attribute that to why I'm so good at guessing baby genders because mm -hmm. I just, I mean, it is a 50-50, but I do think I'm really good at picking. Mm -hmm. And recently someone was having a baby and I guessed correctly again. I don't know who it was, but I forget, but I was like, God. Anyways, uh, so we went to this Kardashian event recently. It was at the Nobu Hotel. I didn't know it existed till we were on our way over there. <laughs> when I got the invite, I thought it was at like the Nobu the restaurant. restaurant. So I was ready to eat. Oh, same. We were all starving. Yeah, and there was very little, little food. Yeah, like they were size like, small and not that many it were was there. Like the size of my like this like. It was like my eyeball. It was like a little crudo bite of my eyeball. I feel you was smaller. But uh, we were invited to the Kardashian, not the carpet. Did you see there was a carpet? Yes. We were invited to the, I believe it was like a press party yeah. or something. And uh, can I tell the tea? Can I say Yeah. That? Okay. Eek. I mean, I put it in a vlog. <laughs> well, okay. So we got to this event that we were invited to. We were super stoked. Uh -huh. And it was at this like very lavish hotel, which Alicia told me that is like $3,000 a night to get a room there. I looked and it was very expensive. And the main reason is because there's only, I, th I want to say only eight rooms. <gasps> The rooms that we went they into- They gotta afford that rent somehow. Yeah, the <laughs> rooms that we went into for the the different event, you know rooms, those were the hotel rooms uh, and there weren't many. It's okay. such a like serene. It was beautiful. beautiful. So we walk in and I didn't exactly understand like what was happening. I mean, usually when you go to an event, you know, you mingle with people. It's like one big space yeah. you're mingling and then you leave. But they were like taking us on a tour almost. And they like walk us into this room, a single desk. And there's like some Safely products on there. And then it had like a poster of like Kris Jenner, something in the back, I forget exactly what. And Chris Appleton and Makeup by Mario are in there. And they're just kind of like looking at us, like not in a mean way. Also, that was the first room that we went to. So basically for those of you who didn't watch our vlogs or watch our TikTok vlogs, <laughs> Um, basically there were eight rooms and each room was themed after one of the different But um, we didn't know that. Members. When they walk us in, I, I had no idea what was going on. Oh, I knew that. I oh, I you, didn't. I think you were still getting checked in when they explained what was oh, going on. Oh, yeah, because the girl was like, oh, this is where Chris works. And I was like, she comes to this hotel to work? <laughs> That's so random. And oh then literally God, makeup you... by Mario and Chris Appleton are just kind of like staring at us. And I'm like, what is happening? Also, I've never felt like I had flatter hair or I've done my makeup worse than when I'm like looking at them. I was you like, I'm what's... ugly, I'm ugly, I'm That's ugly. So I know funny. I'm ugly, just kick me in the face. Oh my God. Okay, that makes way more sense. I will say, even on my end, even knowing what kind of was happening, that was the first room that we were brought to and there were some other people in there and it definitely felt like we were intruding. Like when we walked yes. in, people were just like looking at us. So I was like, oh, we're not supposed to be here. I was, I was very confused. like aware. I was like, oh my God, sorry. Like, can we film? Can we like, uh, like I, I'm, I'm, I thought literally they're having like a meeting. And it we were looked coming. like it, right? Yes. And I felt so uncomfortable because I was like, oh, now looking back, I think there was just people in the room that we are walking into and yes. we didn't know what was going on. Well, um, once I got the gist, walking from the first room to the second room, yes. I asked the girl who was guiding us around. I was like, um, so like, what is this? And then you answered for me and you were like, oh, it's like 29 rooms and yes. each girl. I was like, oh, well, also, so Chris doesn't work here. Okay. Also, I will say 
Chris's was a little more confusing only because she has the cleaning products with Safely. Yes. But when you walked into Poosh, for instance, with Courtney's room, they were handing out matcha. and Like it was a very like, oh, here, welcome, thank you for coming type vibe. Yes. Versus the other one was more like, oh, you just look at her, yes. her room. I completely agree. Okay, because then once I walked in and they had the avocado smoothie yeah. and the iced matcha, like that all made more sense. They had and like Poosh products. It made sense why people were sitting there because there was like a couch and it was very office themed. Yes. You know? Yes. This one was like very, it, it, it looked like a store essentially. So each girl had a room, as we said. So the Poosh room had like Poosh products and it was like overlooking the ocean. And then the Kylie room was like padded with like velvet walls mm-hmm. and they had a whole Kylie's skin wall and then they had um like a little vanity again overlooking the ocean and then they had court oh no then they had Kim's room which had two of her Met Gala looks Met Gala behavior I had no idea the bla- all black Balenciaga one I had no idea the material was more of a cotton oh really yeah what did I, you think it I was? always thought it was more of like a shiny I don't even know exactly, like satin almost. Oh, really? I had no idea it was cotton. So seeing it in person, I was like, oh, this is so different than what I thought it was going to be. I totally knew it was cotton. So when I looked at it on the carpet, I was like, oh, she's wearing like a t-shirt to the Met Gala. Oh, that's That's what I was kind of surprised by. They had that one. And then they had the beautiful gold dress, which- From 2018. Who the fuck has dimensions like that? It wasn't like her waist was- literally two inches i was just like that dress specifically was one of my favorites from the mm. met gala like ever and so seeing it was actually pretty surreal i think it was heavenly bodies right huh the heavenly bodies themes when she wore the gold yes, yes 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 gorgeous yes, yes. and then on the other side they had a skims room obviously and then chloe had like the gym with her good american mm-hmm. like active wear and then kendall had a bar and it was really cool for 818 it was just like beautifully done we got a swaggy gift bag but why I intentionally told the story was we were hanging around and there were like some influencers there. We met some other people and then Candy Johnson was there, Mm -hmm. which if you guys don't know who Candy Johnson is, she's like an, the OG beauty makeup vlogger, YouTuber. She's so sweet, has such like lovely, bright, fun energy and she's so cool and she came up to us while we were just standing there and we were like chatting for a little bit i loved her i i put it in my vlog um remember i said i have a photo i found it and we should put it in here it is comical like uh, my eyebrows (laughs) are non-existent (laughs) keep in mind this was probably 2010 this was before anastasia had her her hold on everyone this is me going up to candy johnson at imats at a makeup convention and asking for a photo that's so cute (laughs) oh were you making videos yet yes i mean no one watched oh my god your your hair Did you do your own hair? Obviously. Were those clip-ins? No. <gasps> How did you do highlights like that? Did you do the cap with the holes? I always did peekaboo highlights. So they'd be like Girl, underneath. Girl, those aren't peekabooing. Those are bright, straight front and center. Oh, <laughs> no, no. See the one underneath? That one's underneath. I'm talking about these. Oh, yeah. Those are just like You just would highlights. draw it on? Like paint it on? Yeah. Like, <gasps> Lindsay Lohan was totally my inspo. You know what I loved? When the girls had like platinum hair at the top and then the whole like Underneath. bottom third was black. Yeah. I thought that was so sick. Oh my God. Kenny Johnson literally has not aged today. She I know. looks fantastic. I know. So she was at the party and yeah. she was so nice. And then she was telling me that she didn't have any photos and she didn't have anyone. Or she said that she asked like one of the guys that was working to take her photo and she was like, it, it's not a, the, the best angle of me. I was like, hold on, let's take your phone. I'll take photos of you. So we went and took photos. Also Desi Perkins stepped in. She was like watching me. And also I'm not the best photographer either. So I don't know why I offered, but I was taking her photos. And then Desi was who I fucking love and why I why She's I like so nice. wanted to start gardening. So beautiful, ethereal, looks like a beautiful angel like a cherub that just came down from heaven. And she like taps me and she's like, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Like, I just, can I give you like a tip? Like, can I help a little? Cause she saw I was like struggling with like trying to put candy in the light. And she gave me the most incredible tip, which I will share with everybody here. She said to tilt the top of your phone, like where the camera is, like just ever so slightly back towards you. So your phone's almost like at a slight, like, angle and that just makes someone look so much taller and longer and I kid you not like the photo changed in a second also I feel as though that's probably a more realistic like what we see in real life do you want to know something funny because like when everyone takes photos they do have it like just the way it's easier it's hard to have it straight up you know did you see there's like a meme going around recently the kids choice awards were this weekend and everybody was saying, fire the fucking photographer because no joke. Were they all like- Everyone was straight dead on on the carpet. Like everyone looked 
horrible. Everyone, it just makes you look so like stumpy. Wait. And like, like it's so, it was like a meme going around. And I looked at them. Ugh. I was like, Desi Perkins should have been there. Cause if they had just angled yeah, the it a little bit. everyone would have looked so much better. Truly. Like that Dang. was the photos that of Kids Choice Awards were me before I met Desi Perkins. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So I'm taking Candy's photos. And then after we left, we said bye to her. She messaged all of us individually and was so sweet I saying know. like how nice it was to hang out with us and that she's just like thankful that we were so nice to her. All these like sweet, sweet things. And I replied back to her and I said like, oh my God, love you so much. Thank you for being such a sweet, like inspiring person. And then I was like, I hope I see you soon, which I never say to people like that. I don't know. Even when I sent it, I was like, that was really weird of me to say, but I meant it. I was like, yeah. I hope I see you soon. So then, you know, I'm moving on with my life. I truly haven't seen Candy. Andy Johnson. Sorry, with my life. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Moving off my, my life. life. <laughs> so we saw Candy at the event. I hadn't seen her since we were in Paris. Like, what is yes. that? Like four years ago? 2018. Yeah. So like, I was like, I'll see her again in four years. It's fine. So I said, I hope I see you soon. And I was like, that was interesting of me to say. Anyways. So then I go, I went to Disneyland a couple Shut days ago. Up. And uh, my brother was meeting me there and he was running a little late. So I said, just, you know, when you come, you park at the Mickey and Friends parking lot uh -huh. and you go down and then there's a bathroom at the bottom. Yes. So I went pee and I'm just standing there waiting, waiting. I'm like literally at the bottom of the escalator so I could catch him. And I see this pink wig coming down the escalator. And I was like staring. I was like, no, there's Stop. no way. You manifested. I just said, I hope I see you soon. And I saw her not a mere two days later. She comes down. I went candy. She was freaking out. We like hugged and we were just like, I was like, I literally just said, I hope I see you <laughs> soon. And now I'm seeing you again. This is so well. And like, it just so happened timing. She's like, I was stuck in traffic for three hours. I wasn't even supposed to go to Disney, but her sister was there um, for her niece's birthday party. And so just like, it happened to work out. I saw her again in the park. So random. Are you powerful? I think I am. Are you? I think I'm a witch. Heavenly? I believe so. Are you an angel from above? I'm a cherub from heaven, floating down from heaven. Yeah. So yeah, I just had to share that. And um, I think that if we all speak things into existence, Maybe they'll happen. Okay. Dinner, check. Shampoo, check. Morning coffee, check. check. Get everything you need wherever you need it with DoorDash. As we all know, Alicia and I, you know, we are busy ladies. And uh -huh. there is nothing nicer than having something come to your door that you are in need of, whether it's food, toilet paper, crystal light. Can I say something? Sure. I literally door dashed uh, my lunch, which I think should be here any minute. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so nice. It comes to your door in less than an hour. They have so many options to choose from, not only from food, but if you need like a household essential, maybe you ran out of like wet wipes or you ran out of diapers for your baby. You know, maybe your Cove and your mom needs some new diapers for you. At Cove, I love you. You know, it'll come to your door in less than an hour. With over 300,000 partners in the US, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or you can choose your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. And what's great is you don't even have to talk to anybody. They can literally drop it off at your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. So it is a an introvert stream. Oh, literally. So for a limited time, you guys can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code PRETTY. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code PRETTY. Don't forget that's code pretty for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. What are things we want to speak into existence right now? Let's I, do it right now. I want a cooking show. <gasps> I not I want. I will have a cooking show. So I th okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. will have a cooking line. Yes. I will have a daughter at some point one day. <gasps> <laughs> I will. I think you'll have a girl. I know you always say everyone thinks you're going to have all boys. I really do think you'll have a girl. <laughs> I really, I mean, I'm, I'll be happy with whatever, but I really would love a girl. And I will say, I, just, I for some reason, I think I'm only going to have girls. So you'll be the best aunt to those girls. I <laughs> I'm so excited. Speak some things into existence. Ooh, I, ooh, I want, <laughs> is that, that's not how it works though. I not can't say I, I want. want. You should say I will. <laughs> See, Granted, I did it bad. I did it please bad. know, we know nothing about <laughs> manifestation. We're we're just saying, we're just saying our Christmas wish lists right now. Which one of these do I want to <laughs> say? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I will say, look how many have come. Look at, oh my God. I had a Coachella house for <gasps> one. Look at that. You got a little checklist. That's check. so cute. I have a checklist. That's so um, cute. Even like I have um, parallel cells out and like when we launched it literally sold out. 
Did you check it? I checked it. Yeah, these Good. are all check things. Good. Um, I wanted a long-term deal by the first half of the year. That already happened. Loves it. Um, what are new things you want? Not things that happened. Oh, I mean, I still want to. I am on Forbes 30 under 30. She is. <laughs> she is. I am on a Times Square billboard. Okay, bitch. Yeah. Loves it. I <gasps> Parallel should have a billboard. Me buys one tomorrow. See, that's where, that's where I get tripped up with this whole stuff because I'm like, like does it just bring it to the front of your mind every day to where you're like oh yeah I do want that is that how it works I don't know I don't know I'm a voice actor I am a voice actor I, I did don't know. one audition did you know that for voice acting for Nickelodeon no yeah I did an audition for a cartoon that was coming out or something <gasps> they actually had a few different influencers audition <sighs> And I remember being like, I got this. And now <laughs> looking back, ha, do you ever watch the videos of what voice acting looks like? Yeah, it looks on hard. YouTube? People are just, act, they're talking as if they're just li like, you know, acting. I was sitting there reading the script like, mur, 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 mur. like, like so stupid, like doing a little voice thing with it. And oh. then they're like, okay, try it again. And this time be, be more like, you know, anime. And I'm like, okay. So then I'd be like, oh my God. Like, da, 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 da. Like, <laughs> I feel like Mac Baby Eleven really came out. We should do a segment or like yes. a, we should try and do like an audition on PB because it's I feel like I'm a oh voice my God. actor right now. Um I have a friend who she actually helped me with some acting like lessons and stuff when I was pursuing that a little bit. Um but her brother is literally like a top top voice actor <gasps> let me well uh, also you're friends with the voice of summer from rick and morty i'm, not, I'm friends with her sister i have never met okay her. mutually we know <laughs> and we might breathe the same air sometimes yes. and i think that is we need i would so love to cool. hang out that is so, so yes cool. maybe we can get professionals <gasps> who can like actually you know i've always heard great us that it's harder to be a voice actor because i've been wanting to, to do voice acting since i was like in college or so but then I remember I was discouraged very early on because they were like I'm I'm no I know I'm not meant to be a, a regular actress like yeah. acting is just I'm it's not good at it it's I overthink it I'm not talented and that's fine and I've, I've come to terms with that know your strengths know your, know weaknesses. your weaknesses and that is my weakness yep. and that's fine but I've heard that voice acting is even harder than regular acting because you have to emote so much with just your voice yes okay speaking of voice acting uh -oh. <laughs> cartoons uh -oh. Not necessarily does it have to be a cartoon, but which cartoon character was your sexual awakening? Uh -oh! <laughs> she screamed because she already has an answer. Yes! Okay. And I know. No! Do tell. Do tell. No. Why? What was yours? <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> I was big on Prince Eric. Oh. I do love a Prince Eric. I also would probably say, are you gonna say like Simba or something? <laughs> the word like smash or pass? It was Simba. Let me guess yours. <laughs> Sebastian, the fucking bird from Little Mermaid. The, the, mm, no, I'm gonna guess it. What, is it an animal a, or a person? <laughs> it was an animal. <laughs> I had a crush. Robin Hood. No, I had a crush on this character. Okay. Uh mammal, water, <laughs> amphibian. What are we talking about? I just remember being like, oh my God, I have a crush. And then there was this song. I had this CD. On your hit clip. Probably. <laughs> okay, wait, oh tell me God. what, like what realm of animals are we speaking? Where in the animal kingdom? Where in the food pyramid are we talking? Pretty low. <laughs> low? <laughs> not, not Bugs Simba. life? <laughs> the grasshopper was pretty sexy. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking ant. <laughs> she always loves an underdog. <laughs> okay, you're not telling me. No, this is. I just thought you were gonna guess. This is no, so you said like what? Where in the I realm? I had a map. Oh wait, I want to guess still. Okay, okay. Uh, higher than an ant. But like what? Okay, what kind of like a, like a bug or like a if fish? If I say, it, we'll give it away. It was it was the fish. No. What's his name? <laughs> the cute little yellow and blue fish. Flounder. Flounder. I'm giving up. Just tell me. I had a massive crush on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> he is pretty low on the food pyramid. He's low. Like what did it for you? I don't know. Was I literally was like, I'm not going to talk about this. And I'm like, fuck, I have to bring it up. I'm like a little, I'm a, I'm a little uncomfortable. I know. <laughs> I fucking know. <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, so there was the 
this I think this no, is what did it. Don't okay. I okay. think this is what did it. We had this C D and there was a song on it and it was like Mickey and Minnie being like, Hey Minnie, he's got a crush on I you. I love he's that C D. I would do my dance warm ups yes, to that with yes. the little kids. And then, and then it would flip and it'd be like, Hey uh, Mickey. I'm gonna find it. She's got a crush on you. So I, I think that song gave me the crush. That song. Yes, I wait, think wait, that's wait, what wait. it was. I'm dying. I literally like I would you know how I'd like warm up little kids when they were doing like dance classes? <laughs> yes. I would always so play So you know the song? Um yeah, I know that song. And then there was oh also God. Hey Nikki, you're so fun. Like you're they were so all fun. on that yes. that album. I think I had I think I loved that song and then I just associated it with him. Let's but check out again. Nikki's discography. Alicia, I was obsessed <laughs> with that song. I'm not kidding. I would like be like doing like the warm ups, I'd be like, this song's like like, kind of good. This song fucking <laughs> <slaps>. like, pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> Here we go. I got it. Alicia's feeling things. <laughs> I'm warm and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> You're crying again. She's crying. I feel I'm like, when did I get that? Where did I get that? Was it in like a Happy Meal? I have no idea. Do you remember? I had a um, one time. The best thing I ever got in a Happy Meal was this orange CD that was half Britney Spears, half in sync. Like, where has their Happy Meals gone now? Mm. It's just pla- like I got a CD. I still get a Happy Meal from time to time. They did like a Mario Kart thing recently. Really? Yeah, I think they they actually have this really cool like hologram one that you can like put on something. I think and it like almost looks like a Baymax kind of thing. Oh. It was pretty cool. I just feel like they used to have better toys, but also how would I? I don't know. Man. I'm really scared. I'm having a nip slip. It's fine. <sighs> Thank you for sharing with the class. Who did I say? Prince Eric. Prince Eric. That's a much better. Uh, I can't. Like I should have known yours was going to be Mickey. It, it kind of makes sense. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Maybe I'll say an animal as well. I would say. I mean, Simbo's pretty cute. Mm-hmm. Better than Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian was kind of a badass. He was. He kept her in line. I feel like he, he had good. No. I yeah. Like a- I actually don't remember any Zazu. of these movies. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Zazu? The, the Zazu's the the penguin. I mean no, the, no, no. the the seagull. The, no, no, no. Um, Zazu was the bird in Lion King, and then I thought of Lion King, which made me think of the fucking baboon. <laughs> I like the baboon. He it's makes me feel butt. safe. A big thank you to Macy's for being a continued partner and friend to Pretty Basic. Macy's is great because they have everything we need for everyday life. Whether it is the latest fashion trends, home goods, or the cutest shoes for whatever season it is, Macy's has you covered. Honestly, I just love how they have anything you could need from high-end designer stuff. You need a KitchenAid mixer? You, they got they it. Got you it. need some bedding? They got it. Makeup? You need some makeup, clothes, shoes. You need an orange tie or specifically a coral tie or a mint tie to they, match your boyfriend's suit for a wedding you're going to <laughs> because you don't know which dress you're going to wear? They've got it. That sounds like personal experience. You Does it? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Also, the Easter Bunny is just a few days away and a few hops away from making an appearance. So uh, be sure to give a grand reception with a little help from Macy's. From pastel outfits for the fam to brunch ready serveware, Macy's has you covered. And don't forget to stock up on the Easter baskets with the kids' favorite candies and toys. Head over to Macy's.com for it all. Anyways, moving on, uh, moving back to about 10 to 15 minutes earlier. uh, (laughs) Speaking of Nickelodeon, because I mentioned I had a Nickelodeon audition. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you see what Jojo Siwa posted about the Kids' Choice Awards? I did. And I, first of all, fucked up second of all can we stop with the slime it's like a little it's overdone yeah. it's like i don't think it's fun i think someone's gonna get hurt do you think a kid would still enjoy it though because like we've seen it can we okay we need to talk about first of all yeah, yeah. jack harlow performing first class <laughs> at the kids choice Awards. All of, not the kids bop version no <laughs> it was so like why did they think that was good i'm very confused why Sex they th- the, eh, exactly eh. it's all about like having sex and just like different Jack Harlow things. <laughs> why is he performing that at the Kids' Choice Awards? And why is that the first performance of that song? Yeah, all the kids are like, Whoa! <laughs> Gee, That's something, if I, I was watching as a kid, my parents would be like, turn this off right now. And I'd be like, why? They just, I thought that was an interesting choice. Obviously, more importantly though, the Jojo Siwa of it all. I thought that was very interesting. If you didn't see, she basically posted saying, hey, everyone has been asking why I did not attend the Kids' Choice Awards this year. To be honest, I wasn't invited. Which that girl was the face of that company for so long. That's 
And for the and I don't I truly don't think it's a coincidence that she's come out this past year and has cut her hair. Oh, it's absolutely exactly. It's absolutely homophobic. It's and it's just hard. It's it's so disheartening because all these companies act as if they're so progressive and all these things. And then you go around and do that. Like Jack Harlow's opening the show talking about sex very bluntly, <laughs> but she I, she can't even be invited. I don't even. I I think she would have gone if she was invited. The way her video seemed was that she was very upset, which I get why. Uh, she literally carried that company on her back for oh, a very yeah, long time. For so long. Also, um, I don't know if this was true because obviously all TikToks like, could be completely fake. But this looked pretty realistic. But this girl had gotten a call from a random number. And so she hit ignore because she didn't obviously want to, you know, figure, she didn't want to pick Me, it up. I don't answer any Oh, I don't either. <laughs> and just in case. And then um, she texted them and was like, who is this? And the person replies and says, hi, I'm detective blank from the NYPD. And she's like, why is the NYPD calling me? I'm like, I live in Seattle. What's going on? Like, is this like a prank thing? And he's like, hi, uh, Nickelodeon had reached out to me because Nickelodeon headquarters is in New York. Oh. And they had said, um, they called the cops on her for a tweet that she had, which she said she was gonna, let me, let me read it verbatim. She said, and I quote, which keep in mind, she was like, why the hell is NYPD like reaching out to me? Yeah. She was like, and he said, that, he was like, hi, uh, there, you tweeted something. So she's like, what did I tweet? She tweeted, I'm about to burn down the Nickelodeon headquarters for not inviting Jojo Siwa <gasps> to the kids choice awards. <laughs> and so, Nickelodeon literally called the cops on her. This is the text exchange. Her name's Logan. And so she knew it was like the, probably really the police because they had her phone number and her name. Like, I'm sure they hit up Twitter and was like, hey, give us this info. They gave the IP address, da, 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 da. Uh, one yeah. time I had, um, one time I had, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of interrupting. We'll get to that in the next one. We'll get to that okay. next one. Side note, but one time I had this person tweeting, pretending to be a fan page, totally like putting out my address photos of my house like insane shit saying i'm gonna come see you in three days mm. blah, blah 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 me freaking the fuck out i hit up my team they literally like instantly hit up twitter and said hey fyi like what can you do twitter instantly like takes down the account blocks the ip address from ever making another twitter account again good like that's insane but like obviously you're okay but nothing ever happened after nothing that? ever happened the days that they were like i'm coming to see i, I was like fucking freaking out i yeah. purposely like wouldn't go outside it like yeah. my, i was like crying i was in tears it was so like crazy but i was so grateful that like i mean i'm just an influencer like that's nickelodeon headquarters but they were so like quick to act and like you what sucks is when you're on the other end even though i know that girl's completely joking like yeah. she's just like i'm gonna burn her down like on the other end you do not know if it's true or not like mm. you tr like I, everyone in my life was like they're probably just like trying to freak you out blah blah and i'm like yeah but this the two percent chance that like someone comes like that's terrifying yeah but i'm not sticking up for nickelodeon here sorry yeah. <laughs> so he says hi logan my name is detective blank from the nypd you're not in trouble but whenever you get a chance please call me back i just have a couple questions and then she's like i'm not from new york what is this about if i I ask he said just the tweet you sent out earlier today like I said you're not in any trouble but they just sent this over to me and I have to look into it and it's he was like crazy I have to close this like please call me yeah. like I just want to close I want to I know he was just like I want to get this over with I've never thought about someone t like a detective texting <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> like that's weird but he was just like he got on the phone with her finally and she was just like what's going on he was like she explained everything yeah. and she said he was just laughing the yeah, whole time. Like I'm he was sure. just like, this is so ridiculous. I'm, yeah. I have to do this. Oh my God. Um, and he probably had way, way, way more important things to do, but um, moral of the story, they should have invited Jojo Siwa. Yeah. We stand by Jojo Siwa. We did invite her to come on the podcast. Her team uh, said she was on tour and never really got back to us. So that's fine. But she's got better things. To she, do. She has much, that. She's, she's cooler than us to be honest. Um, but Honestly, you're welcome anytime. I love her music. I went through, I did like that drive through Christmas Back, like, like a thing. Boomerang. Yeah. Yes. And they were playing, they had like a whole JoJo. She must've like, Wait, you did that? she must've sponsored it or something. Yeah. I know. And she had like a whole archway and they played her song. I was like, this is a bop. I'm gonna come back like a boomerang. Hey. The fits, the hair. Yeah. Everything. Have you seen the clip of her that's going viral on TikTok when she was like on Dance Moms and like, actually like probably like six or seven years old oh my God, no. and i have brown roots like she couldn't even say her r's she's like i have brown roots so i dye my hair blonde like she's been bleaching oh her God. hair since she was young young <gasps> yeah she was so cute oh my God, i had no idea it was super I, cute. my favorite thing about her is the fact that she does her own makeup 
Oh, does she? Yes, and she'll do little like she'll show herself like doing it. I like the crazy like glitter and stuff. I think that's wow. so cool. Oh, she seems very like very obviously nice. she could hire that out, but I love that like for a tour she'll still do it. Herself. I think it's so wild. And again, to talk about my dance mom's trauma to bring it back yeah. to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I can't believe we're all those dance moms girls have like, like I love seeing them all individually thrive yes, and they're so different and it's crazy to see what they're all doing yeah, I think it's really awesome honestly that's so cool I love obviously we love Maddie and Kenzie we love Nia love Jojo like that's so cool to see them all just do their own things yeah Jojo's like a like star how much money has Jojo Siwa made off of her bows no <laughs> wait 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 more than Vin Diesel more than, Vin Diesel. <laughs> more than Bradley Cooper more than Bradley Cooper 300 mil Four hundred million dollars from bow bow sales alone. That's from Forbes. From fucking ribbon? Are you kidding me? But think about it. No, I like iconic. It all started with the bows. So far, we've sold over eighty million bows. She told Forbes. The outlet reported that the bows range in price anywhere from five dollars to sixteen dollars. If you do the math, JoJo has made at least four hundred million from bow sales alone. She has so much other merch shit too. You know what's so smart about a bow? It's so simple and easy in everyone. You need two for pigtails. <laughs> you got it like, you know, different colors. And it's something so easy. Like for my kid, I would buy them a bow. It's easy. It's not like dye. It's not, it's something simple. They're already made so you don't have to make it yourself. As but well. I'm going to have the whole Roy G. Biv line. No, Obviously, you, oh, I'm going to have yeah. multiple. Like I would buy them over and over. You know, your kid's playing on the playground. She's going to, you know, they're going to fall. They're going to get dirty. Maybe they need another bow. In business, they always say, like, what's something so simple you use every single day, like, type thing? Bow. This is per perfect. Bow. $400 million. Just the bows. <gasps> yeah, she had yeah, ice, the cream, ice cream, dolls, like, clothes. Concerts? Shoes, concerts. No, she's killing it. She's, I love to see it. To anyone who's ever made fun of her, like, she's fucking doing way better than you. I love it. <laughs> like, she's I chilling. love it. Ah, uh, anyways, wow, well, we stand her. Oh, also, my birthday party happened. <gasps> yes. Yes, it did. Uh, from someone, I now understand, you've always said, anytime you've thrown a party, how afterwards you're like, I had so much fun, but I was very aware of everyone. Yes. I definitely, like, I was not as drunk as I think it probably, A, looked like on my stories or even my vlog, because I was just so aware of everyone, and I was, like, so excited. <laughs> Uh, I was so excited to see anyone and honestly um TK TK also invited some other friends and they were like Alicia's so nice it's because I was going up to anyone I was like thank you so much for coming like wow someone came like I was so grateful it's honestly horrible throwing parties it's no, horrible I get it my favorite part of the night actually I have a few things one was I don't know if you noticed this so before the cake and sparklers come out I'm kind of like dancing like assuming it's coming you know I look to my left and there's this guy sitting wait yeah who was that guy oh, bitch I did this I literally I was like live I was like la, da, da, da. I see him and I like stick out my hand like oh, oh my god you know like whatever and then while I'm doing that I'm like who is that no literally I was like who is this man I genuinely was like I, I could see him walking down the street and I wouldn't know. Yes, I genuinely, I was like, oh my God, hi. And I was like, wait, I don't know. This is you know what's so funny? I, From my point of view, I was like, who the fuck is this guy all night long? And then when I saw you do that, I was like, oh, so she's like close with no, him. No, I had no <laughs> idea. Literally, I was like, I don't know. Wait, who are you guys? No. Did we find I out? Did, okay, he was next. I saw a photo later and he was next to the Red Bull guy. Okay. Red Bull sponsored the bar. So I was like, they must have invited friends. But okay. it was just so comical because I'm sitting there like, oh my God. My baby. Yes, I love someone to be coming out. Soon. And then literally in my head, I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who is this? But have fun. I hope so you're having a good time. Funny. It was so funny. So that was one of my favorite things all night just because I was just like, wait, who, who is that? But that's okay. It was um, such a fun night. It was so fun. I asked you so many times. I'm like, did everyone have fun? I was, but I told you this already too because usually I'm the one throwing the party. So I'm yeah. the one in the hot seat where I'm like, this is horrible. No one's having fun. I'm stressed about everybody else. Yes. I was, I no joke, like took this mentally so I could come tell you on the podcast. Now being in your shoes and truly knowing what it's, what it feels like to just be an attendee. Yeah. And like also I was able to like see how everyone was feeling, like especially like our close group. And everybody was having the time of their life. Oh my God. So much fun. And you're always hosting too. So even if it's not a party, it's usually at your house. Yeah. So I feel like you rarely go to things where you just sit back and don't have to do anything. I had a wonderful time. Oh my God. That means Truly so wonderful time. Um, there was only one little incident. <gasps> what was the incident? <laughs> so 
you know, I'm having fun. So basically my dress had this like slit, right? Yeah. Um, and I was like, what underwear do you wear with this? So uh, we decided on getting a bikini bottom, a matching like neon green one, Cute. and then bedazzling the string, like making it look like a little G string, but it's just a bikini bottom. Okay. So it's like, perfect. Um, now I was on my period earlier that week, right? S but just to be safe, because I'm literally wearing just like a bikini bottom, I was like, I should definitely like put in a tampon. Okay. You know what I mean? So, um, and you know me, I was having the time of my life. I was up on the little stripper pole. I was like dancing, whatever. Um, the next morning I'm looking at a shared album. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at a shared album and literally I'm like watching all the videos cause I'm trying to make a reel. I'm trying to like see what other people got. We added probably like 20 people to this shared album so mm -hmm. they could put in stuff. No, granted, I know not everyone's going through every single thing except for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's be real. Yeah. They're like, whatever. I wasn't aware of a shared no album until right now, exactly. so if it makes you feel better. No <laughs> one's looking. However, I come across this one video. Vag out. String out. The string, the string wanted to party too. The string said classic oh, car. String the string said ball. Red Bull. <laughs> That's I was so, so funny. I text TK because TK was the one who made the album. So I was like, TK, delete this right now. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I know for a fact no one saw it. But then it made me realize what other videos do other people have on their phone? Uh? Okay. Also, like, I get it. And I would be in the same, I'd feel the same way. But like, it's a fucking tampon string. Why do we, like, why okay. is it such a yes. big deal? Also, I will say, I was deaf. I wasn't mortified, thank God. I was more just like, okay. I was just like, ah, that's, that's funny. Good. Like, I wasn't like, oh my, like, you know, I feel like my normal anxiety would have just been like, oh my God, kill me now. Yeah. Like, oh my God, get, like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I was like, well, I'll just say it on the podcast. I love it. Yeah, was she was, she wanted the party. Let her out for the night. <laughs> I was like, damn, that sucks. Uh, but other than that, by the end of the night, I did take a few more shots back to back. Cause I was like, wow, I'm really not that drunk. That's kind of where I messed up. The next morning mm. I had a massive headache and I was like, I'm, I'm hungover. Um, but overall, it was a success to anyone who's ever been too scared to have a party because you're scared no one's going to come. Throw it. People will come. And if they don't come, fuck them. They're missing out. You know, I had a good time. I had a great time. But you know who you had know, a really you know, good time? time? Cal. <laughs> can, I, can I say something? Sure. The next day, me, Ashley, and TK all had a conversation and we were like, yo, Cal was so much fun last night. <laughs> we were like, right? Oh my God. I thought the, wait, oh my God. I thought I was the, no, no, no. Oh my God. Yeah, he was living. We were just like, wait, that's so funny. And then even Ollie texted me and he was like, oh my God, why was Cal so much fun last night? And I was like, Cal was so much fun. I think he was, so I think it was like glad. last, I think because anytime, I think this is what it was. He was always just vibing in the corner, but because he had the neon glasses, it was easy to spot him. Yeah. So I feel like I know, I was like, he's probably always having fun. I just don't notice as much because mm. the neon glasses, I, I was so easy to spot him and he would just be there like, hey. He was having the time of his life. He got so drunk. <laughs> Apparently he came up to me at 11 o'clock and said, which he always does at parties. He's like, Remy, it's 11, but I'm blackout. I'm ready to go home. I said, it's 11. <laughs> It's Alicia's birthday. <laughs> We're staying until it closes. Like, go drink some water. But he had so much fun. And I was telling Ollie, I was like, I feel like Ollie and I know the true Cal because, like, he's so, he's kind of shy and, like, mm -hmm. introverted. So he doesn't, like, show himself to many people. Yeah. But, like, Ollie and I are just, like, so annoying. We're there all the time that we're just, like, we see him because, like, he, whether or not he wants to, he's coming out. But then I feel like with you guys, like, I know you all like him, but, like, haven't seen the real him. I feel like when he's drunk, he, like, loses all his inhibitions and, like, isn't nervous. Literally So me. then you get to see the real him. <laughs> Him. Yeah. yeah, and he's so much fun. No, so I'm so it. glad. <laughs> Ash said like he gave her a high five every time they passed. She was like, yeah. which was a lot. <laughs> but it was so fun. And I had, I like everyone had such a great time. Will there be a party next year? Honestly, I mean, maybe. But Yet. I really, I would, I still, every year I say I want to go to Bora Bora. Maybe next year is my year for Bora Bora. Okay, 30, maybe, yes. Oh, bitch, that's, that's good. good. That's good. That sounds that's fun. That's good. So now that my birthday is done, I feel like that was kind of over my head of just, you know, a whole bunch of planning. Yeah. Now it's Coachella. It's Coachella. Which baby. is this weekend. Uh, I am so excited. I will say we're both a little stressed because first world problem, um, <laughs> I have an order of clothes that I was oh. planning on wearing. I was like, why am I stressed? I feel fine. <laughs> well, you have an order too. Yes. Which was for Cal, but you were able to buy a new one. Yeah, we're good. So you're good. I'm still stressing because that whole, I don't think it's going to come in time. And uh, I just got a text from my assistant right now who said, hey, not so good news. Oof. Basically, there's nowhere 
in LA right now that sells the exact things I wanted. The Coachella prep is happening. We just don't know exactly what we're wearing. That's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. You can go in a t-shirt and it's fine. We're there to yes. have fun with our friends and listen to music and drink a lot of alcohol. I think the outfit that is missing would be my day three outfit. And I'm kind of down just to wear like merch or something the last day, like not make a look out of it. That sounds fun. You know? I love it. The first two days will stunt. The last day I'll just wear shop Lee Shimmery. You should. Which the site's down right now. So it's kind of pointless to wear shop Lee Shimmery. Although you should still go follow the Instagram because- killing it they are she is really doing a yeah. good job maybe i'll wear miss remy ashton merch okay <laughs> feel <laughs> free to Drama you can queen. turn my tote bag into a tube top <gasps> wait that would actually be really cute, cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well on that note thank you so much for watching be sure to come back because our next episode is going to be our coachella recap we are coming fresh off the the trails of indio also we're gonna be vlogging and let's be yes. real we've always vlogged coachella but we were definitely a little PG then. I think this these vlogs are going to be a little more realistic. So go follow us on YouTube and uh, subscribe because we will be uploading. I'm going to try for daily. I'm going to do daily too. Yeah, I'm going to try for daily. Yes. All right, guys. Love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.